Hello all, in this video I'm going to show you the very final stages of what I do to finish out a painting. So uh, let's say I like this painting uh, pretty much as is, but what I want to do is now start to correct some of the values, uh, correct some of the saturation, uh, and so forth. Because I really want the focal point to be up in this area. This area is a little bit too saturated in my opinion, so what I'm going to do is just select all, copy and paste, and put this onto a separate layer. The very first thing I'll do is go to Effects, uh, Tonal Control, and I'm going to go to um, uh, Color Adjust. And what I want to do is just bring down the saturation just a little bit. So I'm going to start. Uh, see, that's really desaturated right now, is, is, and so I'll creep back up on it. Um, that looks okay right there. Now I'm going to say okay uh, as far as uh, the saturation goes. Now what I'm going to do is uh, go back up to my uh, eraser here and I'm going to go ahead and on that particular layer I'm going to erase out um, where I actually do want it a little bit saturated. And I want it a little bit more saturated in the focal point rather than the rest of the environment because again it's light side, dark, dark side, hard edge, soft edge uh, uh, or light side, dark side, warm side, cool side, hard edge, soft edge, uh, detail suggestion uh, and as you see more detail in here the, the brush strokes are a lot more suggested as they get um, uh, out of the focal point but in the focal point I'm considering three areas um, Greatest area of value contrast, greatest area of hue saturation, and greatest area of detail. So I want to just pump up the hue saturation in here, and the way I do that is I, I just showed you, I lift it up onto another layer, I desaturate that, and I bring uh, the, uh, or I erase back out to bring the saturation back to that focal point area. So I'll let it get a little bit warmer, a little bit more saturated in here as I erase back out to uh, the underneath uh, um, part of the painting um, or underneath layer. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that layer uh, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select all copy paste again and in this one I'm going to just take um, my effects and go to tonal control and here I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. Sometimes I'm spot on. I would have to say I'm about 10% spot on. 90% uh, of the time uh, these little adjustments at the very end make a lot of difference. Okay, so I'm pushing the contrast just a little bit more. Um, and so let's say uh, I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and apply. And then I'm going to grab my eraser tool again, and I'm going to uh, enlarge the uh, brush a little bit, but again by pushing down uh, uh, Option Command at the same time. And I'm going to bring back the, uh, I'm going to erase back to the lower part of that, or the lower layer uh, to reveal the painting underneath where it wasn't as contrasty in the um, uh, dark area down here. I'm going to go ahead and erase out um, all through here because I don't want a lot of contrast uh, through here. I'm not going to get a whole lot in, of the sky just because of how light it was anyway. But I'll erase back out because I want that contrast again to be up into that focal point area. And what I'll do is actually I really like that. So I might erase out just a little bit uh, on that light side. But these are the very last uh, things I do in a painting. I go to the uh, effects and I'll play with uh, tonal control. Sometimes I'll play with color correct and adjusting colors. And this one I'm just going to uh, um, the color adjust and the brightness contrast. So I'll run the painting through uh, a lot of these levels uh, as far as, um, or functions, as far as uh, um, hue saturation um, and uh, uh, the value of uh, the, uh, between the lights and the darks. So there you have it. Thank you.